Yo, what is up guys? My name is Elusive, and this is how to install a 64-bit Tmod loader after the 1.4 update number 2, I guess. I already did a video on this, but that was before they updated 64-bit. They did just update the 64-bit launcher, uh, which was like at 1 a.m. today or something like that, uh, at least my time. So, they did it late at night, and I honestly thought they were. it's going to be a couple months I thought they were just gonna go straight to the 1.4 update and so have 1.4 modding but they're deciding to do a 64-bit for the current version of team mod loader that way you can continue your mods much easier through the steam team mod loader with 64-bit instead of having to wait for the full 1.4 release so this is gonna be very quick and simple all you got to do is copy some files and that's it you don't have to download anything else uh, besides the 64-bit Tmod loader. So first what you want to do is you just want to go to the site I linked, oh, I already have, had it open, but you just want to go to the site that I will have in the description, which is in their Discord, so I'll have their Discord link down in the description for you guys again, so if you need any support or you want to check it out, I'll have that in the, dis or in the description for you guys. But what you want to do is you just want to go, click, scroll down, go to the Tmod loader 64-bit, reboot, like that, boom all open source too or majority of it um i believe quite a bit of it's open source but now you want to go to steam now if you know how to get to your common steam apps you know tmod loader folder then go ahead and do that but this is probably easier for some people that do not know how to do that all you got to do is search tmod loader in the steam library go to properties local files and then browse local files and you are there now what you want to do is you want to open up the Tmod loader zip that you now have downloaded and then you just want to select everything so you can control A it and then just drag it all into the Steam, the Tmod loader folder. Now you will only have to replace like 5 files but I already have this installed that's why it's asking you to replace so many is you only have to replace like 4 or 5 files but you do want to hit replace the files in this destination and then you're good that's it that's all you got to do. Now you can just launch Tmod Loader through Steam, hit yes whenever it asks for administrative privileges, and boom, there you go. You are done. It is all good to go, as you see right there, running in 64-bit mode. It is all good. That's all you gotta do. They updated it, they made it much easier, and that is great. So, the old one's kinda outdated. You can still do the old one if that's what you want, but this is the best bet because mods are updating to the newest version of Tmod Loader, and so slowly those mods you're not gonna be able to use as they update. And this is just a lot more easier. So, other than that, guys, if you guys did enjoy and you wanna see more Terraria content, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscription button. It really does help out a lot. And also, I'm probably gonna be streaming a lot of Terraria, so some master playthroughs, some modded playthroughs over at twitch.tv slash elusive media. So if you do wanna drop by there, hit that follow and check it out. Be greatly appreciated. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great day.